Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be getting ready for work with you in front of the camera. Um, I'm going to be mainly using new products that I recently purchased at the drugstore. Um, if you watched the video before this one, it was like a haul, drugstore makeup haul. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and let you guys watch the video. Let me know in the comments what you think about it and I'll see you guys later. All right, so far I've exfoliated my skin, I've put eye cream around my eyes, and then also moisturized my skin. The exfoliation is gonna help you get rid of texture, and then you wanna moisturize so you prep your skin for makeup application. I'm gonna use this new Milani Prime Perfection. If you watched my haul, this is a brand new product. I'm just gonna take very little, rub it in between my hands, and I'm just going to start to apply it from the center of my face going out. This is a hydrating primer, but it helps diffuse pores. For foundation, I'm going to be using my Cover FX foundations, the Cover Drops, and I'm going to mix it with my Natural Finish foundation. I have been loving this mixture. Actually, um, I also mix my Cover Drops with the Cover FX CC Cream, which is freaking awesome oh I love it but I like to switch things up sometimes so today I'm gonna be doing this little mixture and I start from the center of my face I actually mix them because one of them is too light for me and the other one is really really dark so together they are just perfect If you've never tried Cover FX, you are missing out big time, big time. Um, and just FYI, I will be having a video on how to properly use the custom cover drops because it's a little bit different than most foundation, but once you know how to properly use it, it's, it's a life changer. Okay, so now we're gonna move on to eye primer. I still have not found a cruelty-free eye primer, so if you guys know of one, Please let me know in the comments below, but right now I'm just going to use what I already own. Um, I'm just going to take a little bit of that, apply it onto my eyelids. Okay, so now for eyeshadow, I think I'm going to use this one right here from the three palettes that I got. I feel like I'm just loving these colors right now. This is the Milani... Uh, Number 05 are the elements. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, it does come with a little brush, but probably not gonna use that. Um, let's go ahead and take this color right here. It looks really, really pretty. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that color and just apply it underneath my brow bone. Okay, now I'm going to go in with, I don't know, probably this color right here, right next to the orange. I'm just going to grab it with a fluffy brush, and I'm going to apply it right. I should have probably gotten the orange first, but okay, we'll just work with what we have right now. Okay, now I'm going to be using the e.l.f crease brush. I'm going to use this orangey shade now. And I don't know where to put this on my eyelids, so mm, okay. Let's go ahead and just work it into the crease. Ooh, this is such a pretty shade. These eyeshadows actually blend really nicely. They're not patchy. They blend really easily. They're so pigmented. Look at that. You can see the orange just there on my eye. It's super pigmented. Okay, so I tried really hard to just use the Milani palette, but I'm really liking the orange crease. And... I thought it would look great with this ColourPop eyeshadow. This one is the color Lovely. I already have it on this eye just to, you know, try it. Not that I have a choice to change it now, but I'm going to do the same on this eye over here. And I like to apply these eyeshadows with my finger. So I'm going to put this on the eyelid. 
Oh, look how beautiful that is. It just, oh my gosh. So beautiful. We're gonna take this really dark shade right here. I'm just gonna take a little bit on the tip of the brush. See how dark it is? And where am I gonna put this? Probably just work it up on the outer part. Like on the crease, on the outer part of the crease. Just to make it a little bit darker on this area. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and do my concealer. I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it underneath my eyes. I'm just using the concealer to just cancel out any darkness underneath my eyes. I'm not using it to highlight because, I don't know, I don't highlight every single day, so. I'm gonna use the new Milani Translucent Powder. And I really like this powder. I've used it a couple of other times before today. It is pretty translucent. And usually with, you know, translucent powders, you only need the tiniest amount. If you put a lot of any translucent powder, it will start to look light. But this one's really nice. It's not drying on the skin. I feel like this one also helps diminish the appearance of pores on the center of my face, which is a great thing. Okay, so now we're gonna do eyeliner. Okay, so the eyeliners that I have been using lately are NARS. These are just perfection. They stay on your waterline from morning to whenever you take off your makeup. Um, and I'm actually really happy with these because they're also cruelty free, I believe. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments below, but I did do a little bit of research and um, a lot of people said they were cruelty free. I don't find the bunny like the cruelty free bunny on any of their products like packaging but on the website it says it not the NARS website but like um blogs and all that stuff oh and I'm also using the color Via de Martelli which is a brown color and lately I have been doing nothing but brown eyeliner I'm also gonna do a little bit of this pencil eyeliner on my top lash line just because I'm gonna put fake eyelashes on and this is gonna help me hide the lash band okay so now I'm gonna do some bronzing yesterday at CVS I picked up two Milani bronzers I'm gonna use this one first since it's more matte and I'm probably gonna start with a lighter shade just with any kabuki brush This is actually a really pretty bronzer if you have um, light skin. I feel like it's picking up too orange in camera, but in person it looks just really pretty. Probably because of my orange eyeshadow. It's making it look more orange than it really is, but it's not. Perfect. Okay, now I don't know if I want to put on this bronzer on top just for an added glow to my face. I'm not sure, but let's go ahead and do it anyways. I'm gonna use the same brush. I'm just gonna swipe one time. Whoa, it's so pigmented. Okay, we're gonna remove some of that from our brush. I'm not gonna do it on my forehead. I'm mainly gonna do it just on my cheeks. It's really pretty. It's not over, I thought it was gonna be overwhelming glow, like shimmery, shiny, but it's just a really beautiful glow. So pretty. I don't know why, I feel like I look really orange in camera, but I don't look orange on my mirror. I don't know why, I'm scared now. Okay, so I'm back and I've already filled in my brows. I do have a separate video on my brow routine, which I will link at the end of this video and also down in the description bar below. Now we're gonna go ahead and um, put on our fake eyelashes. I do have mascara, which has dried already. And the lashes that I'm gonna use today are Coco Lashes. These are called Goddess. All right, so I don't know what color I wanna do on my lips. I'm thinking of this really beautiful nude color. Let's see. Mm, perhaps, but I was actually feeling something darker for today since it's really windy and cold outside. I like that too. This is a little bit more dramatic. Um, I don't know, I feel like if I do this one, I've been doing a lot of dark lips for Let's just go with this one. Yeah, let's go with this one. Even though on my last reel, I, I did a darker lip. 
It's okay. Oh, and this one is a Milani lipstick. You guys, if you've never tried their matte lipsticks, this one is number 70 matte fearless they are seriously perfection in a tube you cannot beat the price the price i believe on their website is like five dollars but if you get them like at cvs which is where i usually shop um they're like six or seven dollars depending on where you live the price just varies okay and the last step that i'm gonna do probably um i was gonna skip this but it's really cold outside actually so I need extra hydration on my face. I'm gonna use these Cover FX Custom Infusion Drops. I have them in the Radiance Vitamin C one, and I'm only gonna take two drops of this on the palm of my hand. And instead of using a misting spray, I'm gonna use this. This is a dry oil, so even if you have oily skin, I know it's a little bit scary, you can still use these. These are not gonna make you oily. I just warm it up on the back of my hand, or in between my hands and I'm just gonna press it onto my face so I'm using this instead of a misting spray it's gonna do it's basically going to melt all my makeup together since I do have quite a bit of powders on my face and this is such a beautiful oil because it gives you like a really natural sort of glow or highlights it's more of a glow though <laughs> onto my cheekbones so I don't have to put extra glows on my face and then you can put some on your forehead if you wanted to but definitely try these these are amazing all right guys so that is all for this tutorial I really hope you enjoyed it I'm definitely gonna be doing more of these get ready with me videos especially if I purchase new products I feel like it's a perfect way for me and you to try new products that are out in the market or you know products that I've never personally tried so if you have any other suggestions of what products I should try next leave them on the comments below and I'll definitely go get them because I love buying new makeup but just make sure that they're cruelty free because like I said on my previous video I am switching to all cruelty free makeup and just everything. If you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, click this button right here to stay updated with the new videos that I will be uploading. You can also follow me on Snapchat and Instagram. Also, don't forget to like this video, and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye!